I'm in Dynamics Finance and Operations here. Let's have a look at a setup under the warehouse. So if I come down to Warehouse Management, um, under Mobile Device Setup, there's a setup called uh, Warehouse App Field Names. And you'll see that I don't have anything in here at the moment. So let's have a look at the effect before I set these up and then after. So the first thing is I've got a purchase order in here. So this is my 328 and it's on this item um, X402 uh, and this is set up for Warehouse Management. So on the app, if we bring that into focus here, then I'm going to log on to the app. So sign on to my user, and then I'm going to do a purchase receive. Now I've created some barcodes, um, and so I'm going to scan these in. But before I do that, look at the layout of the control. So this is the PO number, and I've got a simple box here that I can um, put data in. So what I'm going to do, this was purchase order 328, so I'll scan that. And now it's asking me for the item number, so I'll scan that. And the key thing is again the control. So you'll see the control is a fairly simple uh, box here. And so I can put in the um, item and again you'll see the quantity and it's a fairly simple control. So I'm going to type in the quantity in this case it's 5. So that's my data entered. Obviously I can hit OK and that's going to complete my work. So we'll see our works completed. Now the effect there is really the layout of these controls. So let's have a look at the process again. But before we do, let's go and create our warehouse app field name. So I'm going to hit the button that says create default setup and that's going to populate our controls. So you'll see if we have a look through the controls, for example, um, we've got item number um, so you'll see it's alpha set up here you'll see quantity and it's set up for numeric for example so this will give us some capabilities like the ability to scan the barcode to count the quantities all right so that's the app field names actually configured now i've got a second purchase order which is basically the same purchase order so 329 here so let's have a go at this now from the app. So I'm going to do purchase receive and you'll see now that the PO number is a different control. So again I'm going to scan it. So in this case 329 and you'll see the item number as well. Different control. So I'm going to scan the item. Now you'll see that the quantity has the plus and minus now which means that I can keep scanning the product. So if I have multiple products that I'm receiving, I can scan the product and that's going to count for me um, as opposed to just typing in a number. So I've scanned it five times. Um, we should have received five, so that's okay. And um, we're confirming, so the work is now complete. So that's a handy setup, especially if you want to use the new capability to scan um, the uh, quantity field based on scanning the barcode of the product. So in this case you'll find it on a setup mobile device warehouse app field names and there is a default that you can just hit the default button that's going to set up the basic um, defaults that I just used in that example.